If you guys love these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And say, Dan's in my clothes guard, and I can use his gi to choke him. I could do it from the back or whatever. But what becomes really, really, really useful is when I start using his gi as a weapon of control, not just as a finish. I can use his gi to finish him. I can use my gi to finish him. I can use my gi as a control mechanism. I can use his gi as a control mechanism. So the first control mechanism we're going to look at, guys, is simply using our fingers on the sleeves. Okay? We're going to move out and we're going to get into this position that we did last week, like low spider, but we're not going to stop here. Last week we looked at our attacks from here and different things, but we're not going to stop here. Now we're going to go foot in the bicep, extend, okay, and we're going to go from here, this position here. So I'm using his gi to stretch him out, and now watch what I do, guys. I point my toes, and I shadow his leg. It's very important you point your toes here just for injury reasons, guys. Point your toes. And now I make my whole body like it's super glued. And now I pull my elbow out behind me like someone called my name and said, Tom. And I look over to see where they are. See how this foot is pinning his arm down? Now I can get up and I can kick it off, but I want to keep this control for mount. I'll now jump into my partner's guard and he would do the same thing to me. I don't have a gear on this morning, okay? But let's have a look again. This is called Spider Guard. I'm here. He's got to put his hands on me, so I might as well grab him. Here. I move out and get my knees on the inside. This is called Baby Spider. And this is what people would call like full spider. But if you use two legs, it can be not as intuitive at the start. So I'm going to stay on my left hip and just use my right and I'm going to extend him straight. So I'm putting him up on a coat hanger. Now I shadow his leg, point my toes and now I'm not kicking him over, I'm just locking my body together and then I'm just going, who called my name? Like that. So I lock my whole body together, who called my name? And that's how they go over. Okay? Now, if your foot slips this way, it's okay because you have a triangle right here. But I like to try to get mount, but it's a wonderful, like that bicep and foot position is a wonderful way to pin someone on the ground because it's a lever. So it's a really wonderful way to pin them down. Okay? So that's the first technique we're going to have a look at tonight, okay? From this, what we call like a, a spider guard. Okay? So we're just looking at a spider guard tilt sweep. Very, 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 very simple, okay? So I want you guys to practice that one, um, and then we're gonna like start pumping the uh, accelerator and going a bit further down the spider guard path, okay? Let's go! Thanks for watching the video, guys. For more videos, click here. To subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour-long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom, guys. I'll see you next time.